Yes, hi. This is uh, Martin. I'm doing the cold start video as requested by Godswood. Uh, today is two, or Monday, and we are in a very cold, cold, not cold day, but cold for California. Nice and cold, not run the day. See all the gauges are coming up. Fuel levels rising. We're neutral. We're gonna pull the choke. Give it a tap on the throttle. Comes alive. All pressure gauges up to over half. Manual gauges that I installed. Oil pressure is about 65 pounds. Water temp's cold. You see the that meters replenishing the battery after start. all the way off now but you try to drive it now and it's not very cold friendly so you gotta warm up let it warm up a minute or two cold light on the oil pressure is still a little above 60 reason for the two sets of gauges is that the factory gauges are electric and the aftermarkets are all mechanical so they're kind of like a redundant backup system the oil temperature gauge uh, I've had it up a few degrees, maybe up to about a 160 if I'm out running some, you know, hills where I'm work, working the engine hard. Other than that, you really don't see much movement on that gauge. Two rocker switches here while, I'm, while, we, while we're waiting for it to warm up a bit is the ARB air, air compressor and then the locker switch next to it. Back over here on the back side, this valve here fills the tank and the pump will shut off when the tank is filled or if you don't want to fill the tank. Now we're just, now we're just feeding the locker in the rear. You don't need to run the locker in order to run the compressor. So you can just run just the compressor itself which will allow you to air up tires, uh, blow off parts won't run an impact gun, but it'll, it'll like I said, blow off parts, uh, fill up tires, things like that. People ask, one, one person asked me about the, the, this, this switch I've got on the throttle, I mean on the shifter.
now seeing some movement on the mechanical water temp gauge. Looks like we're up to about 130. Runs about 190 all day long. Maybe a real, real hot day, climbing some hills, 195. I've heard that's pretty normal for the Land Cruisers. You can see the fuel gauge is working, oil pressure gauge is working, amp meter gauge is working in and out. You can see a change if I pull the headlights on. So I'm going to send this video off for you and uh, any questions let me know.